Today we're talking about variadic parameters in Swift. And I'm gonna show you two very common real world examples that I think will help you understand it. Um, but to kind of sum it up real quick before we dive into that, a variadic parameter is a parameter that allows you to pass in multiple instances of a type without actually passing in an array. That may sound confusing, but again, let's dive into the real examples and I think it'll make sense. So here I am in my GitHub followers project. It's the project I use for my course. You can check that out, seanallen.teachable.com. But this is a custom alert view controller that we created. It looks like this. Again, just wanna set the context. Now, if you're building your UI programmatically, which is what we do in this course, you probably see a lot of this line right here, right? View.add subview, add your view. View.add subview, my button. View.add subview, my label, right? This is probably littered all through your code. Well, we can clean this up using variadic parameters. I've created an extension on UI view, you see here. Uh, it's empty right now, we're gonna create it together that will show you how these work. So we can do func add sub views, and we're not gonna pass in a parameter name, uh, but within the scope, we're gonna call it views. And this is how you declare a variadic parameter. So you do UI view, because that's what um, we want the type to be, but then you do dot, dot, dot and open and close parentheses to get the scope of the function. So that declares that our views parameter is now variadic. So that means it can take in zero views. It could take in a thousand views. We don't know. And that's why it's perfect for this add sub views because every screen you're gonna add sub views to when you build it programmatically. Could be one view, could be seven views, who knows? So uh, now our views parameter here is basically an array. That's what the variadic parameter does for you. It gives you this array within the scope. Uh, the compiler handles that for you. So we can do a typical for loop for uh, view in views. And now we can do add sub view view, right? So what we're doing, we're, we're iterating through our array of views in the variadic parameter. And now we're adding that individual sub view. So now that we have our extension, we can go back to our uh, alert VC here. Now, remember we had all this add subviews. It's like I said, probably sprinkled throughout your code. Well, let's comment this out. And I'm gonna get a bunch of errors when I do that. But now we can have this on one line nice and neat. We can do view.add subviews, plural. And you can see it's our variadic parameter. And then now we can do uh, container view, uh, title, label, action button, message. Uh, label. So I took these four lines of code, all uncommented, so you can see it. I know my comments are hard to see, right? We took these four lines of code, created our variadic parameter, so we can just pass in any number and it will handle it. So now if I delete this, you know, we get the same exact behavior as having those four lines of code, but now it's nice and neat on one line. And again, the variadic parameter, it can take any number of parameters. That's the beauty of it. It's nice and flexible. So I said I was gonna show you two very common real world examples. And like I said, if you, if you build your code programmatically, I think you're gonna find that one very useful if you're not using it already. But another common one is the print statement. The print statement by default is variadic. So you're probably used to doing uh, print, you know, my message, whatever, and then that's it. But because it's variadic, you can do my message, uh, my second message, and you know, whatever, right? So your print statement can take in any number of strings. I guess that needs to be a comma, not a period. The perils of typing around a microphone in your face. Um, so anyway, so the print statement is also variadic. So again, between the add subviews and using it with a print statement, this is how you can use variadic parameters pretty regularly uh, in your code base. So hope you enjoyed that lesson. Again, if you like my teaching style, like my presentation style, or if you're interested in this GitHub followers app that we build completely programmatically, uh, check out my courses. Uh, the website is on the screen. You can watch the first like 10% of each course for free just to get a feel for it. All right, we'll see you in the next one.